Hey guys, I just got somebody that posted their favorite food is donuts. So this just made me, I had to make a video about this. I just want to talk about the anatomy of a donut. So it's a, it's a few different things that's wrong with a donut, okay? First of all, it's made with flour, so it's pretty much just like bread. That's number one, okay? Um, you know that you know bread is not good because of wheat and a, many, a lot of many other things, but the wheat is one of the worst parts about eating bread because that stuff stays in your system for weeks and, and months, really. So that's, that's a big problem, right? It also causes inflammation and different things like that. All right, so that's the one thing with the donut. Uh, anatomy number two with a donut is it's made with sugar. You know what I mean? So they add sugar to the donut. That brings a whole nother problem into play. Now you're combining the, the, the crazy thing about wheat with the crazy sugar. Two bad things, and both of these two things are on my top five um, foods that you shouldn't even be eating. All right, and the third component of a donut is they fry it, deep fry it in oil. So now you have the same effect of french fries, okay? And I, I saw a study before that shows that when you eat french fries, it alters the vital signs and the anatomy and the chemistry of your body and even your blood system for hours, hours and hours. So it's not like you eat it, oh, I ate something bad, you know, french fries and oh man, okay, that's no big deal. No, it's lasting for hours. So it's not like just that one hour that you ate it. Hours, hours, and hours. Forgot exactly how many hours exactly, but hours upon hours it lasts that it altering the chemistry of your body. So I just wanted to give you guys a tip, you know, try to avoid, you know, donuts because you got flour, which is a problem, just like you eating bread, you got wheat, you got sugar, okay? And then they dip it in oil. They deep fry it in oil. Three combinations. And it's on two of the foods on my top um, list of foods. My top five list of foods that you don't even, you want to try to stay away from as much as possible. All right, so just had to do this. Hopefully this helps someone. Hopefully this educates you. And hopefully this makes you to be more informed about what you're actually eating and putting in your body. Because again, garbage in, garbage out. We got to take care of our body. We got to make sure we put the right stuff in our body so it can actually benefit our body and help us in the long run. Have a great day.